So it's time to make a conclusion of the chapter or block RE4, which is fracture engineering for blocked. Uh, I'm just going to tell you what you are supposed to know by now. So if you don't know, or maybe you aren't sure you have, or you are able to do this, please make a review. And yeah, essentially is everything. You are now prepared to do a model of isothermal reactors with one reaction, okay? Because maybe you think you are already a pro for uh, multiple reactions and that's not true. You actually need to know some basics in the multiple reactions, okay? That will be seen in chapter 6, don't worry. We are still two chapters uh, behind that. So what's next you understand now uh, okay you know want to apply the design equations because they're for example in the semi batch or CSTR well we have no design equations but you do know how to apply it for a batch for a PBR for a PFR all those you know why is it important to study rates of reaction though uh, probably you know that if we have no rate data we will need a rate lab and we've analyzed a lot the first one and second order rate loss which are the most common but of course there are many many more so just keep in mind that these are not the only ones okay you know now the methodology and why we need a design equation and the reaction data essentially is just to have a mathematical relationship and to solve you know when it's convenient to uh, to work with conversion, mole flow, or concentration. Uh, essentially, concentration applies for every case, but sometimes it's way easier to work with conversion, especially with first order. Uh, no, sorry, with first uh, first only one reaction, one reaction. Doesn't care if it's first order or second order or any other. If it's only one reaction, you should use conversion. If you have two reactions or more, go directly to concentration or multiple. You can now model a batch in first and second order reactions and you could, you could I'm not telling you, you already see it, uh, you could model high rates. You know about the damn color number and why is it important in reactor engineering. You can model a CSTR, not only alone, but with the damn color number. And not only that, you can also model it for series and parallel arrangements, which is cool because you know the importance of having multiple CSTRs. You can model PFR in liquid and gas phase. You've seen the difference. Essentially, a gas phase needs a correction for the, uh, the volumetric flow rate. And also, you know the PBR and you know there's a pressure drop and you can model that pressure drop with your Goon equation and you know how to derive it, how to use it and you know how to solve by now a ordinary differential equation for a PBR in terms of conversion and pressure drop so just remember it's F1, F2, these are function of conversion and pressure and you will get the total amount of catalyst needed you know now how to calculate stability times for a CSTR starting up. So this was uh, section 6, I remember, if I'm not failing in that. And, well, hopefully you do remember that, because it's uh, actually pretty easy. It's about 4 times 4.6 tau here and 1 plus k tau. So this was the equation. It's very easy. Uh, only applies for first order. Uh, reaction, but you get the basics. You could, in theory, go for the zero order, second order, and not only this applies for 99%, but maybe you want 90% or 95% or even 99.99%. Whatever you're using, you know that this number is going to change. Uh, for next chapter, we will analyze the data for rate of reaction, which is pretty cool. We're going to analyze a lot of these rate of reactions and if they can be modeled as this or this or N or whatever. So that's pretty cool because now we're getting more into the generation concept. But that's for chapter 5. Let's conclude with our 
chapter number four. If you still need more problems, which I probably think you do, go to my webpage, courses, choose reactor engineering, and go. Well, I have the theory section, which is essentially these videos explain and a little bit more material. But the good thing is the solve problems section. You will find a lot of problems there. Solve it in video with plain English explanations and yeah, essentially is everything. Of course, if you want this chapter, choose chapter number four. And well, I, if you like the video, just go and like my Facebook page. You will find a lot of uh, interesting data, not only about courses, but in general, engineering life, chemical engineering, chemistry, all that stuff. And it's free, so why not just click the like button? Or send me an email. Now, I'm going to recommend you this book, which is the book we are basing our course. Uh, if you need more help, you can choose this book, which is also great. And I've heard some students that they have or they use this book. Uh, just check the introduction, it seems cool. Uh, if you need it, it's here. Just go to Amazon if you need it. And yeah, essentially, it's everything, guys. Once again, we study chapter number four from this book, Elements of Chemical Reaction Engineering, fourth edition by Scott Fogler. So that's everything, guys, for this chapter number four. See you in chapter number five. Thank you for everything. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.